Hi guys, salt fish or cod fish or bacalao can be prepared in several ways, but first it must either be soaked overnight or boiled to remove the excess salt. I boiled mine then mixed it with salted seasonings for a burst of flavor. Would you like to try it my way? Stick around and I'll show you how I prepared this authentic Dominican salt fish. I have the right amount of salt I want in my bacalao, so after boiling it in lime juice, I broke up the salt fish into small pieces and set it aside. Meanwhile, I heated about 3 tablespoons of olive oil in a pot on medium to low heat. To the oil, I added sauteed onions, bell peppers, seasoning peppers, chopped celery, garlic, a dash of black pepper, basil, oregano, two dashes of curry powder, and my homemade green seasoning, both the fine and chunky bits. Curry is optional, but it adds a delicious touch to the salt fish. Whenever I prepare my salted pollock, that way, it reminds me of how my mom prepared codfish when we were kids. Oh! By the way, I've left the link to my green seasoning in the description box below. So I occasionally stirred the herbs, and once the onions and peppers softened, I added the salt fish to the sauteed seasoning and turned it over to combine well. Then I added a little hot sauce to give it a bit of a kick. And there you have it! My authentic salt fish, Dominican style. As the saying goes, what in the world is sweeter than salt fish? <laughs> Go ahead and serve it with avocado, bakes or johnny cakes, eggs, fried plantains, my lettuce salad, or herbal bush tea for a hearty breakfast. For lunch, serve it with rice, ground provisions and salad with lime squash or lemonade. And for supper, have it with crackers or green bananas. I've left the links to my lettuce, cucumber and tomato salad the lemonade and the herbal bush tea in the description box below. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Tell them you like it and ask them to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this delicious bacalao a thumbs up.